Kristen tells us that if she tells Shaq no on decision day, it will be because he failed to meet her expectation. Expectation. Speaking of which, okay, I'm sure Shaq had an expectation to meet her father by now, but that hadn't been met, has it? She has not been consistent. She has not been open and honest. And Miss Kristen got to know that she has been playing games. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 16, episode number 17. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please click that like button, click that notification button so you know when we upload new content. And please send us your comments, and we thank you and appreciate you for helping us grow this channel. So we start off with uh, Miss Kristen, Shaq, Nicole, and Chris going to take photographs um, at some sort of country and western um, themed location. Yeah, uh, they dressed up and took black and white photos of uh, well, the cowboy days, right? Yes. Right? And, and while Nicole and Kristen were choosing outfits, Kristen shares with Nicole that they're still having uh, miscommunication issues, she and Shaq, and she does not know how they can move forward where they are right now. It seems as though Kirsten is uh, in a state of continual frustration because they don't communicate as often as she wants and the way that she wants. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of leading to her hesitation and or re her having reservations about you know, their relationship heading into decision day. But I think the core of it is uh, Shad doesn't communicate with Kristen the way she wants because he's challenging her. She got, she has a problem with that. Maybe that's what and she means as it relates to the expectations. Right. Whatever Kristen is asking him for, he is giving it to her and she articulates that. But what she wants from him is that when she says something, he she jumps. wants him to co-sign it. Right, and, and he's not doing and, that. And she, and so what she does is she seems to kind of uh, wrap he that part that. Of it to you know her expectations about how he should behave as her husband, right? Yes. The group goes to a place that Shaq and Kristen found. It's called Lumberjack Field Show. Shaq admitted he didn't know what a lumberjack was, but they're all going to find out what it is together. And they were all pleasantly surprised right. because it was a place where you can do lumberjacking uh, activities that are kind of like sports oriented. Like you have competitions like who can climb up the pole. Shaq and Kristen decided to to go up against each other. Mm -hmm. Shaq got further than Kristen, oh. but she at least participated in the event. Eventually, they're all separated. Kristen, Gina, and Chris, they got together and were discussing um, their connections. And Kristen brought up again uh, how difficult it is for her communicating with Shaq, that they don't talk. And from Shaq's end, he says, hey, look, we're working towards the goal, but the, the stumbling block in our relationship, again, is the communication. He said that they're making good connections and that she's now putting uh, his stuff on her schedule because they had to leave the retreat earlier than the other group. And yeah, but he, he, he was excited about that. Right, but he also revealed to, I believe it was Jasmine, that he does not want Kirsten just to do this simply because, you know, she doesn't want to get chewed out by the group for not participating and not supporting her husband. Shaq and Kristen are talking, and of course, she's curious as to what he said mm -hmm. to the other group. Mm -hmm. She's saying, oh, we don't talk. She wants him to communicate with her the way she wants to communicate. At times, her. at her and times. means agreeing and, and acquiescing to everything mm -hmm. that he says. Right, and she uses that. As I guess a, a across the board, right? That right. this is what they're not doing. Meanwhile, from his point of view, they have been talking, they have been communicating, but she doesn't uh, gauge it or think about it in that way. Well, not from his vantage point, but you know, when they were out on the balcony, well, she was saying that that is a need of hers to continue to you know communicate and blah blah blah. 
He's saying, well, he, uh, he, it's not a need for him. He wants to, but it's not a need for him because he observes her and yeah, learns, he, he learns, learns a lot, her. a lot about her just based on. But she doesn't appreciate that. She didn't hear what he's saying. Her main focus is herself, right? And then in the confessional, she dropped this that he is not meeting her expectations. So she's going to tell him no. She's already previewing that point of view. What's coming? Kirsten uh, has talked a good game, but not, not walked that good game. No. She hasn't been consistent. She hasn't been open and honest. And she has played games, mind games with Chad. Yeah, so much so that he stopped asking his needs to be provided for because he knows she's not going to do it. Now, how are you with a straight face? going to talk about communication when Shaq had met your father. The mere reason that Shaq did not meet her father was indicative of the decision that Kristen is going to make. She is not feeling him. Nothing he can do is going to change that point of view. Well, then stop conning the rest of us viewers. And That's what I'm saying. She, she's playing games. And admit it. And, and, tell, and most importantly, tell him. She's disingenuous and she's playing games. Clint prepared dinner and they're talking about their relationship. And of course, again, she brings up that they're not communicating when we know that is not actually true. And he says, Yeah, we, we've got this constant issue, uh, but our communicate our, our relationship is, is you know. Heading in the right direction. Heading in the right direction. Uh, which I thought was a little bizarre for him to say. Kind of contradictory, like isn't it? Yeah. I can only go from our example. Sometimes we're not on the same page. But we have a basic foundation of what we believe and what we align ourselves to. And that's pretty much a, a focus and center on God. And there are going to be times in any relationship you're not going to be on the same page with each other. But that doesn't break you apart because you have a foundation. I think for Shaq, when he says they're not on the same page, he looks at it as if it's a bad thing. He may, but the thing about it is... Because, that, l let's be clear, when you're newly married... You're not going to be on the same page. You're not going to be on the same page. About everything. And, Thank and you. especially, they went into this scenario, for lack of a better expression, backwards. Yes. They got married first and then dated to get to know one another. Uh, instead of the other way around. Two months to get to know each other, you're not going to be on the same page. So they stress themselves out on, on things that... You know, will will happen once their relationship is more secured and firm, and they and familiar fight. to both of them exactly. But, but they seem hyper focused on being on the same page and yada yada yada. When that may not be um, the position to take, it should be what are, what are the key things thing that we are going to stand on. Shaq has, uh, as far as I'm concerned, made the effort. I can't say that about Kirsten. Uh, I think she's um, she's done maybe some uh, superficial things to show that he's, uh, he's being supported by her. But the in-depth stuff and the real stuff, I don't think, I don't think she has been sincere or genuine about in terms of effort. And mind you, she can learn them. You know, if learn. she were really interested, but if she was really interested in yeah. in, in Shaq, Kirsten said that uh, she wants uh, Shaq to improve or to continue to improve on his listening skills. Okay, mm -hmm. now that's interesting coming from somebody who kind of more or less like dismisses what he, he said, says. Yeah, that she would, uh, I guess, identify the listening component of their relationship is something that he needs to work on. Maybe she's projecting a little bit. Maybe so. Shaq says that, you know what, when he first, um, when he first used to talk to her after they were, you know, newly married, she used to respond and or react to pressurized situations by getting all freaked out and not uh, being, uh, I guess, composed. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as, you know, she's gone on a relationship, she's learned how to, handle um, maybe difficult situations much better and respond in a way that says, okay, I'm processing what's happening. I'm not going to overreact or freak out, but I'm going to deal with what's in front of me in terms of an issue. And now, I have a question. Was that off camera? Because I didn't see any of oh, that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 o
because I've been watching this sister for 16 weeks and I have not seen any of that. It, it that appears so it, that probably happened when the cameras were. It appears Shaq ain't seen it either. I'm just saying. She and Juno do the same thing when they get on the after party. Mm -hmm. It's all about an image for them. Mm -hmm. It's all about protecting that image. Eventually, Shaq and Kristen, they left because Shaq had an event to go to. And work and, work and, event, yeah. and she, thankfully, was going with him. I, I don't think she can say, she can honestly say with a straight face and a clear conscience that you know, if, if that's the way that goes down afterwards, that she honestly did everything she could to make her marriage work. I would love to see what the real Kristen looks like. Off but, camera. But maybe she that hasn't yet discovered who that person is. And I get it. Thank God I don't have to wait.